because uh, I don't think people really know that account scoring and contact scoring inside of Clay is ridiculously easy and a lot of times extremely cost effective for what you want to be able to do. And so we're actually going to start rolling out account and contact scoring for all of our customers um, for their entire TAM for free. And so uh, this is basically the way that it happened. We set this up for one of our customers. And so you can see the only input we need to make this work is the company name, website, company LinkedIn. And really, we just need the website and the company LinkedIn. So we can pull lists from Apollo, Clay, Ocean, Harmonic, wherever we get the lists from, we would be able to make this work. And then they all get scored from here. And so we're just going to skip over some stuff. And so, for instance, they really need to make sure that it is gen genuinely a construction company. So we have the company description, we have the keywords, and then we have their SEO description over here. We're checking if they're hiring for any uh, jobs, and we're seeing if they have any pertinent roles on their team as well. Then what we did is we stacked all of the keywords from the description, the SEO description, the uh, keywords from Apollo, or the keywords from Ocean. And then we're also doing Google searches with this API over here. This is called server.dev. We're doing Google searches to see if they mention any really good keywords uh, on their website as well. And those keywords would opt them in and say that they are a higher value account for them. And uh, we just created the Google searches over here and that stuff. And then uh, we ran that. And we basically get a scoring algorithm from that. We do, we're doing company headcount growth over here too. And so then the way that the scoring works is we can basically jump in here and we can assign different scores for different industries. So I'm going to take a minute and explain how this part works. So for you can pick as many scoring criteria as you want, well, I guess up to 15, but then you can just have another column, so it's fine. And so then you're going to score your value. So here we're scoring just industry. And then we want the industry to contain a certain keyword. So either it contains it, it equals it, or it's between because it's a number, right? And so uh, we have construction, highway, equipment, rental services, environmental services, all these inputs. These inputs pair with the scores down here. And so the way we do this easily is we make a Google Sheet and we put all of the keywords that we want to be scoring by and we put all of them in a Google Sheet and then we put the scores right next to it. So that way we'll literally say construction, 50, highway, 50, equipment rental services, 50, environmental services, 10, and it's all in a Google Sheet. Then I'll copy the uh, industries and then I'll ask ChatGPT to put it into a comma separated list so we can just copy and paste it straight in here. And then I'll take all the numbers and ask it to put in a comma separated list. So it's not too hard to just literally go construction, 50, highway, 50, because if we wanted to make an edit right now, we would have to do our counting and I would add something here and then it would work backwards. And I would say like, because whatever key value you have in here is the way that it's gonna get scored. Then we have our scoring criteria for their tech stack, we have their scoring criteria for their employee growth over time. And this is how like the between works. So if it's between 40 and 100, we're gonna get 25. If it's between 20 and 40, we're gonna get 10. If it's between five and 20, we're gonna get five, all those things. So then um, anyway, that's how we got that working. And then before I show you the next thing, you could also add subtractions too. So if somebody has their headcount to be between one and 100, and they don't contain a rental keyword because we're looking for construction keywords in this one, if they're between one and 100, we're going to give them negative 100. So even if they're qualifying for all the other things, we're just going to really kill their lead score because um, you know, they're just outside of the headcount range. And so we just don't want them. So then even though they got a score of 50, they'll get a negative 100 over here and then they'll basically get a zero. And so then we can prioritize them correctly. Then we run a different one for rental keywords over here. And then we just have another one of just like a really top line fit to just make sure that we're really nailing that one. And so uh, Clay makes this, like I said, ridiculously easy to do. I think there's products out there that are charging thousands of dollars a year to do lead scoring. And you could do all of it inside of Clay. And it's ridiculously easy. Oh, and then the next feature that they have is then you can click on the score and you can see why it got scored its way. So we're saying it's saying 2149 is between 20 and 40. So it got 10 points. So that's their head count um, growth increase over the past year. And then FR equals keyword FR. So that's that their country headquarters is in France. So they got 25 points, right? And then we could go down here and we say, oh, 66 is between one and 100. So now we got negative 100 points, right? Or we'll go here and this is a great fit company. And we see why is it a great fit? Because there's constructions uh, in our keyword column. 
their growth is pretty high, and then they're in France. Boom. But then we also know where did that one go? And then we can also look at this and see, oh my gosh, 31 is between one and a thousand. This is for how many times they mention a construction type keyword, which is over here. See how many times they mention a construction type keyword. And then 13 is between one and a thousand. So that's anytime they mention a non-construction type keyword, it's a lesser value keyword, but it's still a good keyword. And so we give them a 50. So then we could really, really give them a great score. Then all we have to do is just make a formula in clay and just combine all of them together. And then we can get our, our total lead score. So it would just be um, add, and then we'll just go to our lead score columns and we'll just say score row and clay, score and score. And, and then a quick little tip for you to keep track of which ones you've already used. If you've already used one, it'll gray it out. So see how we, it, that's grayed out because we've already used it. So we'll just hit score and we'll hit score one more time. Cool. And then we got score. So we've got all of our scores here. We'll hit generate formula and then we'll be able to get an output over here for our lead scoring. So like, 355 is a really, really, really great customer for them, right? 305 is really, really great. So now we can just draw a line. And we can just say, okay, you know, this is the line of everybody that we're going to be reaching out to. Let's go find contacts. And then we can score contacts the same exact way. Like, and we can score like a fleet manager is going to have a higher score than an operations manager, something like that. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you find this useful. The lead scoring is something I feel like people want to do all the time and they overcomplicate it. Clay can just take care of all of it for you.